how to interpret a semen analysis report so according to the who guidelines there are multiple semen parameters which are examined during a semen analysis first comes the number of sperms in a semen sample according to who the num- uh, the sperm count should be more than 15 million per ml in a normal semen sample next comes the motility or the movement how fast the sperm is moving so the motility according to the motility the sperm is uh, sperms are divided into four types uh, types grade a which are the fast moving and the forward moving sperms called as the rapid progressive motility grade b are the slow and forward moving sperms called as the slow progressive motility third is the non progressive motility those sperms are not moving forward and fourth is the grade uh, d motility where the sperms are not moving at all so according to the who guidelines rap- progressive motility should be more than 32% in a normal semen sample and approximately 40% of the sperms should be mo- motile in a normal semen sample next comes the morphology or how the sperm looks like so the morphology uh, the, a normal sperm contains a head a middle piece and a tail so if all the three parts of the sperm are uh, normal looking then it is considered as a normal form so when we look at the semen sample approximately 4% of the uh, sperm should have a normal morphology if any of these parameters are deranged then the couple may have uh, have a tough time getting pregnant one more thing we would like to uh, share with you is when giving a semen sample for a analysis few things you must keep in mind first it should be done by a certified andrologist second it should be done in a certified uh, licensed fertility center third you have to give the semen sample in the uh, venue of the center rather than bringing it from the home fourth if there is any spillage of the sample while uh, giving the sample or collecting the sample in bottle you have to discard the sample and repeat the semen analysis after a gap of 3 to 5 days thank you